Hello everybody and welcome to this uh, new video. In this video I'm going to talk about the new Hawk option for the LX NAV variometers, in this case in the S100. The so-called Hawk provides instantaneous wind calculation. Okay, but let's start from the beginning. The LX NAV company is now offering a new option for displaying accurate wind and variometer information. This is called the Hawk software option and is already released for the S10, S100 series and also for the newer generations of the LX8000 and 9000 series. The Hawk algorithm is a new principle of variometer functionality. It continuously calculates the three-dimensional wind triangle and estimates an air mass movement. This is displayed as a conventional 2D wind as well as an additional barometer indication for the vertical component. On the Hawk page you will find a grey and a blue arrow. The grey one presents the average wind and the blue one the current wind. Furthermore, you will see two barometer needles. The blue one shows the netto indication of the Hawk algorithm and the red one the conventional tech needle. The biggest advantage is that Hawk delivers the wind direction and speed as well as sinking or rising air mass estimation in real time, even when flying straight and furthermore no additional hardware is necessary. Also the barometer does not need a compensation anymore. Most glider pilots know the situation where a compensated barometer shows a short time climb indication but feels that this is not caused by a thermal. The reason is often a horizontal wind gust, which result in the wrong indication. With Hawk, this error does not occur. I have tested the free demo option in Spring 2021 at a S100 barometer. Elixnav is offering a 31 day free trial demo, which you can download from the homepage. In this video I want to show you how the Hawk works in flight. I would be interested in your opinion and would be happy if you leave me a comment in the section below. So let's start with an example during ridge flying. Maybe you recognize that the wind indication is shown in north up mode. This was a little bug at that time and should be fixed in the meantime. As you can see, the blue Hawk barometer needle differs sometimes significantly from the red tech needle. The wind indication is continuously updated, which is really good to see in this example. I had the impression that often the Hawk needle is ahead of the tech needle so it indicates sinking or rising air mass sooner than the other one. The same flight some hours later. Flying along the Dachstein Massif in the Austrian Alps. The fern wind, which is coming from the right, is generating some nice smooth lift. Hawk does its job and is displaying the wind's direction and speed in real time. The lift is now much smoother than it was in the beginning. Both varometer needles are now presenting quite the same value. The last example of how Hawk works in flight is about thermal flying in the flatlands. During a cross country flight I found a thermal and started to circle. Note the change in wind direction during entering the thermal. Here again you can see that the tech needle is following the Hawk needle with some time delay. Hawk reacts faster than the tech barometer. Last but not least, I want to mention that there is also an AHRS license for an artificial horizon included with the Hawk option. This is a good safety feature if you ever get in trouble with some clouds. 
So what do you think now about the new Hawk option? Do you think it is a real innovation or do you think you won't need it? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you next time.